How many of you have pencil leads stuck in your hand and how did it happen? My dad has two. One from when he was in elementary school, the second when he was showing how he got the first one stuck in his hand. Kinda like the guy that won the lottery, reenacted it, and won again. Except with pencils. And no money involved. Cool. Or the guy who did a handstand, landed on his head, went to the hospital, got discharged, went to tell his family why he got to the hospital, got back to the hospital to find the same nurse laughing so hard she couldn't breathe. Tossing it in the air so it spun around, then clapping my hands together to catch it. The first few times I've caught it like this, the last time I caught it like this. I just have to say, I'm very relieved to see that I'm not the only one who has pencil lead in them. We must find others like us and unite. After this thread this is more common than I thought. I was a freshman in high school sitting in geometry class. Was pretty good at math so always sat in the back and didn't pay attention much. One day the kid sitting in front of me in class asked me a question about the homework which I gladly helped him with. To thank me, he gave me a fist bump but little did I know he had his mechanical pencil purposefully placed between his fingers and smashed my hand with it. Now I have a big grey freckle looking mark on my knuckle. Thanks Daniel you dick. This made me so pissed. You helped him and then he stabs you. Not even in the back either. I wanted to see if it would really stay there forever. Yes. Yes it has. How many years ago? I had a piece stuck underneath my skin like 12 to 15 years ago but it's since disappeared. I am sure my bones absorbed the graphite and now are made of graphene. Bone doctor here. Yep, that's how it works. Person with bones here. I concur. I should have concurred. Why didn't I concur? College. Mechanical pencil. In my pocket with the pointy end up. When I grab my phone in the same pocket. Lead injection in the bed of my nail for the last, almost, decade. That last sentence made me cringe. It was all good until I saw bed of my nail. I'm stealing that band name. You saw it here first. I demand 0.01% of the yearly profit. Mechanical pencil. Should ask for 0.5 then hashtag x200b. 1. I call it my first tattoo. I was like 12, my best friend Frankie and I were running down a hallway and for some reason he had the sharpest pencil ever in one hand, tripped and of course this pencil goes straight into my forearm. The whole tip of lead broke off into my arm and has been there ever since. 2. I had a mechanical pencil sticking up in my pocket when I was in high school. I go to grab in. Boom. Right in the palm. Oh my god so when I was having just a regular checkup when I was young I brought it up to my doctor and he said hey you got yourself a nice tattoo. I was a little rattled thinking he was making law joke of potential pencil lead poisoning where I thought I was gonna die. I didn't know the difference between graphite and lead as a kid. My mom always told me I was going to get lead poisoning from pencils and plastic poisoning from chewing on straws, and ink poisoning from drawing on my hand with pen. I was also going to get kidnapped, sucked into and chewed up by the escalator, poisoned from loose Halloween candy, it was thrown out and the wrapped candy was checked for needle pin pricks, LSD from temporary tattoos given out by strangers. I could go on and on. I'm surprised I've made it to 26. Where can I meet these strangers giving out LSD tats? I'm saying. I thoroughly enjoy LSD but it is extremely hard to find where I live and if I had any I wouldn't waste it by putting it in free temporary tattoos for children. My friend whipped a pencil at me and I blocked it with my hand. So this is the power of ultra instinct. Runexpect Ebbs. I'll one up you. My brother has pencil lead stuck in his eye. He was in the basement, then we heard a fall, then an ow. He came running up with a slightly bloody eye and a pencil. Took him to the ur. The lead had gone in cleanly, and was really a small amount, so the eye was mostly just scratched on the surface. Gave him some special eye drops. You can still see the sliver of lead in his eye. They didn't remove it because it would have been more harmful to do so than leave it in there. Wow that is low-key badass but for sure would be terrifying in the moment. Is he at risk of losing his eyesight at all from that still? 
Hey, that person happens to be me, unless by coincidence there's another person that also got pencil stuck in their eye. I didn't lose any eyesight from it at all. I have horrible vision though. I don't think it's visible anymore, but it was pretty damn painful. I was like six at the time. Stupid stuff happens when you're six. But no, I was lucky enough for it not to hit the pupil of my eye, just very far to the left of it. Also it was not just a small scratch, there was a decently sized chunk of my eye missing. I got in an argument with a kid in the second grade and he threw a pencil at me. I raised my hand to block it but it stuck right in the middle of my palm and the tip broke off. It's still there. Edit, to clarify, I was also in the second grade at the time. We were 78 years old. Also in female. How ducking hard did he throw that pencil? With all the might a seven-year-old could muster. Yup, seventh grade. Coming into religion class, Catholic school, I saw that the kids before us left their textbooks out, so I shoved one onto my neighbor's desk to mess with her. In response, she went ahead and dropped both hers and mine onto my hands, which happened to be holding a freshly sharpened pencil. I wasn't exactly sure what happened, but there was a sharp pain in my right thumb. I figured it just was a scratch or something, so I just applied pressure and tried to ignore it. But as class started, the pain got bad, so I checked it out, turns out it was squirting out blood and shaking like crazy. I asked the teacher to go to the health room and she said no. It was only after the class told her I was bleeding everywhere that she let me. It wasn't a huge deal, just got it wrapped up. But you can still see the lead mark inside where I was stabbed. Next class I also noticed a couple of drops of dried blood on the wall. TLDR, got my thumb stabbed by having some textbooks dropped on my hands while holding a pencil. The teacher didn't let me go to the health room until everyone told her I was bleeding everywhere. Your teacher sounds like a huge cunt to me. This kid in middle school used to always try to stab me with his pencil and he did a couple times, he was a jerk. Anyways, he is now in prison after he stabbed his brother, so I guess I was lucky he only used a pencil on me. I had a rather large kid in the second grade threatened to kill me with a pencil. He would stalk me on the playground and hold one up and tell me how he was gonna kill me with it. It was surreal and I think I told a teacher but I don't really remember anything coming of it. He was pretty much a bully to everyone and the last I recall of him was in the 7th grade when I witnessed him beating up a kid because he didn't like the way he looked. Probably had a rough home life I guess. I was in 2nd grade trying to flip my pencil by crashing my hand down on it while half of it was over the edge. This would flip it across the room but one time I angled my hand where I broke the pencil tip into my hand and my chubby fingers got it stuck even deeper. I was young and thought I was gonna die from lead poisoning from the pencil lead. I still see the lead in my hand from when it happened. Till I'm the only person on Reddit that hasn't been permanently scarred via pencil stabbing. WTF. Thank you. I'm so confused by this. Allison P. stabbed me with her mechanical pencil in first grade because I wouldn't let her keep one of my colorful erasers that my mom bought me. Duck you Allison P. Ducking Allison P. I was learning to spin a pencil over my thumb in science class 8th grade. I didn't want the pencil to make a sound when I dropped it because the teacher was already pissed at me for being talkative during class. I slammed my hand down to catch the falling pencil and it stabbed me at the base of my hand. I bled my way to the nurse's office and got a band-aid. The mark is still there, though it's faded over the years. Edit, don't know what Einschens is. Basically this story but my index finger. Same here, but the palm of my right hand. Three pieces. All from enthusiastic gesturing. Now I don't hold sharp objects when I get excited smile. 